on Tim for making it work. We've come across the problem and I'm here to try to fix that problem. Problem is when we go camping, all the food in our, our cooler gets all soggy. Uh, if I sit too long and it's hot up and it right now it's over 90 degrees where I am right now so uh, that's why I decided that I'm gonna fix this problem apart from shaking the camera I'm gonna fix this problem by watching a bunch of YouTube and I watched a bunch of YouTube and guess what they come up with they've got polar bear ice uh, they've got all they've called it all kinds of things I'm gonna take a piece of PVC cut it up the length to fit inside my cooler, fill it with water, and just stick it in the freezer. And then when I go camping or when I go out on the boat, I just stick that down inside my cooler, and boom, I've got ice. My stuff doesn't get soggy, um, maybe from condensation, but not actually from ice dripping and filling the bottom of the cooler. So I'm going to take you along on this ride with me. First thing I'm going to do is show you my cooler. This is my cooler. Let's see if I can. I'm sure you've seen these at the. Uh, um, it's an it's an actual it's an igloo, and uh, you know it's kind of square, as you can see, which is a standard you know, a standard cooler or whatever. And what I'm doing is I've got it set up with. Some PVC pipe, which I happen to have here, and some caps, which I happen to have here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the inside of the cooler, take that measurement, and then uh, cut my PVC minus about, oh, I don't know, minus about maybe an inch on each end, or and, and three quarters of an inch, uh, no, one and a half inches. To accommodate for the cap right here. So here we go. I'll walk you through what I'm doing. Of course you can look at this and it's on the internet. We've got people on here. Let me rotate this a little bit. We've got people on the internet showing you how to do it too and I just thought well what this channel is about is uh, showing you what I'm doing to make it work. And so the inside of my cooler is so oh, 15 and a half so if i make it about uh 14 7 eighths if i cut the pipe at 14 7 eighths i'm thinking i should be good what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my chop saw and i'm going to use a clamp to stop it one of these these cheap clamps so i will come over here my saw. I don't know if you can see it. See it there. Maybe it'll come over here. Might be a little easier. <clears throat> so, first thing I need to do is I need to measure that, uh, what is it, uh, 14 7 eighths from the blade. 14 7 eighths. I'm just going to say it's going to be, oh, be right at this mark, which I can't. I've got a bracket on the back of that, so I'll have to do it this way. Oops, this way. My bad. And then I'll just put a 2x4 right there since that's what I got for. Is that's what my bracket back here is. And I will cut these. And here we go. I'm set up to cut three of them right now. So I put it up against the stop. You can see it right here. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be exact. This is just, just simple. That's, that's 
three. So I'll move that camera back here so you can see what I'm doing over here. And hopefully we'll be able to see. So they're all three the same length now. Got me a piece of sandpaper. I'm gonna sand both ends. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap on one end. Let it dry for about 10, 15 minutes. Then get some water and dump inside there. Put a cap on the blue and everything on the other end. So here we go. The reason I'm roughing this up, and you probably already know, I'm just putting in here filler, was uh, makes it adhere a little bit better. At least I think. And anyway, it makes a good conversation. I'll go ahead and sand all these down. By the way, these were like 48 cents, 47 cents. And the PVC pipe, I think I had laying around here, so ain't no telling what that cost. But it wouldn't be used, so. some uh, some glue and some cement I think I had some other glue yep yeah. for the cleaner I don't like that purple stuff I got that everywhere inside the camper when I do a walk through on that camper he'll you'll see that okay I went ahead and got a board because I don't want to make a real big mess of my table First thing I need to do is I need to clean all the parts and pieces. So yeah, I just made a mess right there. I'm going to go ahead and make a bracket to hold those pipes up because I know I'm going to be making more and who knows maybe the kids might might want to make themselves some too.
do here I'm going to just use some more leftover wood just to give me an idea where everything is here these will go on here like this and it'll barely fit on that side and barely fit on that side but as long as it fits I don't care so I will go down here I guess I could have it's just as easy as gone on these two sides. It doesn't really matter. And the reason I did this is so I can know where to drill my holes. Just a little. Just want to make sure I'm not going to hit those pipes. I think these screws are long enough. I'm going to have to switch over. I just have from another project to have these screws, so I'll just use them. That other, that other one out. I only have one drill, so I have to switch between bits.
you see it's sticking out a little bit here. I just want to make sure I'm cleared on the inside. But when that side of the pipe just sets down in there. I don't want to have to interfere with the edge of this. Do the same over here. take this outside because I don't want to spill water all over in here and then finish up the project. Okay what I did was I made this that's to hold the pipes and I stick them in it doesn't go everywhere it just kind of stays put while it's drying. All right we'll fill them up. Okay I think we're ready to start loading these things up. Let them dry. 